All right, folks, here is the situation at 3 p.m. at Antietam. The uh, Union's second corps has uh, fulfilled their objective, so they've stopped. The Confederates also reformed their line west of Hagerstown Pike. Uh, so they've held for the moment here. Uh, there are uh, there's a couple of orders underway. So where do I start? Let's start with the 12th Corps. So second corps have completed their orders. I have issued them new orders. They are on the way, and they'll be arriving in the next uh, two turns away. 12th corps is also under orders, and both divisions have accepted that. So they're now active and are pushing. Uh, we've got some orders for the fifth corps. Sorry, fifth corps have the same orders, but they have made an attack recovery, and they're back in the action. So we've got fifth corps. Uh, 12th Corps, 2nd Corps hoping to accept their orders quickly as possible as soon as they arrive. Uh, 9th Corps in the south are completely out of it, but if I can pan around just a little bit, you'll see elements of Pleasanton's cavalry. They have orders as well, and they'll be coming in. But <laughs> Confederate cavalry, the uh, Hampton cavalry, has also activated. They've very quickly received, been sent and received orders um, and they're marching out from the west as well. So we're kind of shaping up for a cavalry confrontation around this area. Uh, Union, I mean, if you, if you look at this, there's a lot of Union forces uh, in this area. And if they don't suffer a fluke stoppage, they should be able to punch straight through Cemetery Hill, through Sharpsburg and... and uh, yeah, really undermine the uh, the Confederate position. Uh, what is this? Look, all the action has been in here. Ninth Corps has done nothing. Lee has ordered um, Johnson's division to sort of pull back. Uh, way up in the north, there's not much happening. First Division holds their position. Uh, Nicodemus Hill is quiet. A lot of Confederate artillery has returned up there after replenishing their ammunition. But uh, yeah, this is where the focus of the fighting is. We did suffer an attack stoppage by 3rd Division, which is, again, really frustrating. They were about to hit the Confederate lines, and then they stopped, had to pull back. But at around the same time, 2nd um, Division arrived to kind of take their place. We're just hoping now. I mean, the Union forces have the numbers. They have the troops in this area. We're just hoping they can attack and don't suffer a fluke stoppage. Uh, what have we got here? We've got one, two, three, four, five Union divisions attacking maybe the equivalent of two or three Confederates. Uh, I think the Union in this area also has artillery superiority, which is going to be pretty critical as well. So, as I said, that's the uh, end of the 2.45pm turn, the start of 3pm. We'll play through and see how this attack goes.